Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today, we are playing Rome Total War, carrying on with our July campaign, of course, where we left things off yet again, killing more and more of Spain's forces and taking yet another settlement for... Actually, no, we didn't. Did we take... No, we didn't take a settlement. We were on the way to take Corduba, but we'd yet to lay siege to it. And also Egypt throwing some... I would like to say pitiful amount of forces, but it was a substantial amount of forces. But Oppius's tactical genius will always beat the Egyptians. Now, as said previously, I'm waiting for these army barracks. Primarily the army barracks, so we can actually retrain the legionaries General. that are present within his armies. Because look at them, there's literally... We could merge two or three of these together and make two substantially full units, but we need more foot troops. I don't think Egypt will pose a threat to us if we were to push towards Sardis and potentially Pergamon. But in the, in the events that they do manage to find troops from somewhere and they aren't focusing them on Brutii, we need to be prepared for that. So until we get the army barracks sorted in Halicarnassus, we're not going to focus on pushing Sardis just to be safe. But, as we said last time, we're pushing on to Corduba. We've got our assassin doing little bits over here. We've got our spy present in Corduba, so hopefully we can attack on the same turn. And the faction heir is there. Luca is going to prove his worth once and for all, facing the faction heir and defeating him. And hopefully, actually, thinking about it, we could probably go for this general unit over here. Maybe we're biting off more than we can chew. But the first rebel army we're going to focus on is this one. Now, what are we dealing with? Lots of peasants. Warbands could be an issue in the barbarian cavalry, but this will be no match for Numerius. Vespasianus. I think I've said that right. Let's get into it. Do not fear these rebel slaves. We do not fear them. Now, where are they? They're probably going to come towards us, aren't they? No, they're not. Okay. Let's move over here. Oh, they are coming towards us. We need to cause a mass route. Let's get the general unit. And then we'll get the peasants. We'll smash into the peasants either side. We need to leave the warbands till last because they will absolutely destroy us. But they are coming towards us. And here we go. No, the warband is coming in towards us. No, he's not. Perfect. There we go. See you later. Boom. Shaken. Shaken. We're actually loose. It's shaking. Come on. There we go. Get in there. 218, 217, 216. We're not loo We're not killing as many as I thought we would have. The Barbarian General is there, though. Do we focus on him? No, the Warbands have just merged into one super unit with the General. There we go. They've broken. They've broken. Now go into them. That's it. Just charge straight into them. No. No, I don't think I will. There you go. There you go, what a charge that was. Unbelievable. Shaken. No, the warband is coming, the warband is coming. That's it, run away, run away. There we go, perfect. We could actually go into this unit here. We could go into this unit. Come on. Ooh. No, no, the warband is there. The warband is there, please. Let's just regroup, let's just regroup. The general has dispersed from the mass of troops that were the peasants and warbands. And this is it. We need to get them. We need to get them here. The warband is coming in. The warband is coming in. No, move. Move away. Move away. Move away. Let's not take any unnecessary casualties. No, you need to get out. Come on. Nice. Okay. What did we kill there? We killed about 20. They are chasing us. They are chasing us. Come on. That's it. That's it. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. There we go. Now, boom. Straight into the back of them. There we go. Well, into the front of them. We should win this. Heavy cavalry versus light cavalry should be a no-brainer. I mean, it should be, but... This is looking... This is looking... This is close. No, we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. We're losing a lot more. Where is he? Right, he's over there. Where is the general unit? He's over on this side, no? Oh, we lost a lot then. We lost a lot. We needed to get that cavalry unit. Let's just turn around. Let's regain our breath and just take it bit by bit. 
So, I've just been doing the good old loop-de-loops just to try and get them exhausted, which we have done. So that should help with the morale, but the warbands are just proving tricky, and these general unit is just mingling in with them. Which, again, is proving difficult. I don't think... See, they're steady. They're exhausted, but steady. Now, they're going to be charging in a second, which... Yeah, that's a pitiful charge. We need to get in and around them. Do you reckon we could get in and around them from this side? Potentially. 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 There is potential. There is potential. No. See, why do they keep doing that? They keep moving around. They know it. I'm just going to have to pick up all the other ones, aren't I? Or are we? Or are we? Hello. Hello. Go on, straight into them. Go on. Come on. Straight into them. They're shaken. They are shaken. Come on, you're losing. They are losing a lot. Wavering. Broken. The they've broken. Yes! No. Yes, they've broken as well. Get the warband. Get the warband. Kill them off. We cannot We cannot get them to unroute. We need them to die. There we go. Perfect. Can we get the rebel? Can we get the general? Where is he? Where is he? He's dead. They all seem to be going very slow. They're very tired, and we are just tired, so... There we go. Just go into them. There we go. Where is the general? Where is he? Where is he? He's got to be at the front, surely. Where is he? There he is. And there he's dead. Perfect. Go into them. They're going to be wavering. Yeah. What? Oh, they've just all broken. They have just all broken. 39%. Let's do the clean up that we really need to do. This is a crushing victory, worthy of a great general. A great general he is. I think this might have been his... Yeah, one of his first battles. Yeah, I mean... It was a little bit touch and go at the start, don't get me wrong, but we did manage to clutch it back right at the end. First rebel scum down. Now, what you can do is go into Masia. Perfect. There we go. You guys are fine, aren't you? Now, got another large one here. And we do have Luca the Cold Hearted coming across. And we do have some units over here that we could potentially use. Can you merge into there? And then I'm just, oh, just going to get rid of you. I'm going to get rid of you. Now, once Luca has sorted out the faction air, we could take some units from Oscar. Because there's a lot of units in here, isn't there? We'll get some Town Watch placed in here once we've retrained all of them. And then we'll push most of those troops up to, back, back up to the Britain frontier for the inevitability that I would like to say they'd attack us. I think it's looking like we will attack them. Unless we do Thrace. Let us know what you think. Do we do Britain at the same time that Thrace and Britain are at war? Or do we do Thrace? Because then we could possibly speed up the rate at which Britain and ourselves kill off Thrace. And we could then be good allies. We could then be good allies. But let us know what you think. Now, just doing all of the settle management business. And it looks as though... We've got a new chap over here, Asinius Volsinius. Now, I was trying to push Luca over to... Actually, no, that was the guy that we... Yep, yeah, that was fine. That's the guy we sent over there, wasn't it, from Arinium. Let's just look at this faction tr uh, family tree. So, in terms of true Julii's, what do we have? We don't have one there. We had Decius, the good old Decius the Brave, the killer, the conqueror he was. We then have Marcus the Killer, which was also a true Julii, which would make all of these true Julii indeed. Yes, here we go. Okay. Lots of girls. A lot of girls. Oh, two girls there. Okay, so that wouldn't make all of them. That would make these guys. It was just these two. Lucius Julius, who is the faction leader at the moment, and then Appius the Mad. So, as it stands, Amulius Julius, okay. And then he had Luca the Cold-Hearted, who has just had a son. Well, not just. He is quite old. Oh, who's this? Oh, deserted. That was the deserter, wasn't it? Yes, we dealt with him. Or is that another one, actually? Hang on, because I'm pretty sure we had another deserter. No, it must have been the same one, wasn't it? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we dealt with him. Pretty sure Decius dealt with him, from what I can remember. But we do have... 
Flavius Julius writes here. Okay, Manius Julius didn't have any heirs. Fabius the Killer. Okay, so let's just count up the number of true Julii people that we have. We've got Luca the Cold Hearted. We're going to have Flavius. All of these are not true Julii. We then have Appius. Valerius Julius. Iberius Julius. Very strong name, I like it. Lucius Julius. We're at six at the moment. And then all of these aren't true Julii's. We've got six from this side. And then Decius, of course. We've only got one, which is the Cnaeus Julius, which is seven. But he's in very bad health at the moment. Healing poorly, yeah. So he might not even live to see 40. I'm hoping he can get a child. I'm hoping he can get a child. So we're at seven at the moment. And then all of these here. All of these aren't true Julius either. We've got seven true Julius. And the remaining of them are none. So it's very slim pickings at the moment. And technically the strongest tree should be Decius Julius. But he's just come up as to be... He's got a lot of retinue and traits. I mean, for a 17-year-old. But just this one, the feeling poorly. I'm not feeling quite good about that. I've got my suspicions that he's not going to be around for longer. We have set Lentulus Sextus. Well, we didn't set him as the faction. Eh? It was automatically set. But... I've left it as that, only because, one, I don't want him to get the disinherited trait. And two, Lucius Julius is 43. This dude's 67. So I have a very strong suspicion that he's not going to get become the faction leader. So my guess is he's the faction leader. It will most likely go to one of his sons. Well, this son. Or... This guy, Titius Flaminius. Titus Flaminius. Or either Appius. Now, who's the older? Oh, Titus is the older. Wow, he's doing well for his age. 60 years old. He's not even got a grey hair. Wow. Okay. So, yes, it's going to go to Titus. And then at the same time, Titus will become the faction heir, whilst Lucius Julius will most likely still be the faction leader. So once he's died, which will more than likely be before Lucius, it's going to go to Appius. So we're going to have Appius the Mad as the faction heir. Now, do we like the idea of that? I mean, it could be worse, I guess. It could be worse. We could always give it over to Luca, the cold-hearted son, once he comes of age. But I would like to give it to Decius Julius's son. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure, but... We'll have to see. If he gets to his 40s and he's still not died, I think he deserves it. Or does he deserve it? Does he need to earn it like his father did? Anyway, we'll leave that as is. Let us know what you think. But other than that, let's sort out... There's a, there's a couple of other rebels, but other than that, I think we are good to go on to the next turn. We've got an assassin over here. Now, what is he going for? There's nothing necessarily he can go for over here, although... No, not really. No. Oh. There's nothing much we can go for over here. Can we just sabotage some buildings? Uh, let's go for this one. What do we get? Catapult range. Okay, not a bad choice. Not a bad choice. Let's go over and explore over here. Pretty sure we've got a spy in one of these as well. Um, oh. They've got the plague. And we've just gone in to sabotage one of their buildings. That isn't good. He's going to have the plague. I'm pretty sure he's going to have the plague. Pretty sure of it. Now, let's see what the Egyptians are doing. I'm pretty sure they're going to attack us sometime soon. Yet again, nothing. Okay. They've not done anything. We've got so much money unbelievable amounts of money. Popularity gains with the masses. Senate officers assigned. Censor. Very nice. Lentilus Sextus. Tertius Victor is the Quaestor. Very nice. Faction announcements. Oh! Titus Flaminius has just died. And as we were talking about the family tree, Titus Flaminius has just died. 
before Lentilus Sextus. He had a great life. He's had one, two, three. He's had three girls and one son. Well, three daughters and one son. And our odds of them... He's going to have to die soon. He's going to have to die soon, which means, guys, Appius the Mad is going to become the faction heir. Now, do we like the idea of that? I'm not really sure, to be honest, but let us know what you think. Now, let's sort these rebels out. They don't want to fight. What are we dealing with here? Oh, that should be straightforward. Let's do it. Is this foe worthy to die beneath our blades? Oh. Okay. I don't know. Are they? Let's just charge straight into them. Actually, no, let's not. Let's not. Wait. Why are you not running? There we go. There you go. Right. Yeah, let's just speed things up. Right, we're here. Charge straight into them. I know the time watch and they're going to do a lot of damage to you, but... Oh, they're actually charging to us as well. And... Steady. Shaken. Wavering. Broken. Broken. Broken? Bro... Bro... Break? There we go. The Valates are next. They're running. They're trying to run. No, please, come on. Do as we say. Do as we say. There we go. Straight into them as well. Now, the commanding officer should be on this side, from what I know of the game. And he is not. Is he over on this side? He's not. Oh, we're getting surrounded by them. Hello. These are some very smart troops. 58%. Uh, yeah, let's clean up. Running from our men. Rome demands victory from her generals. And this day is clearly our Simple stuff, really. Simple enough. There we go. Now he can run back off to Arenium. Arenium. Although we do have one unit in there already, and it's Canaeus Julius. Ah, uh, I don't know. I think you could probably go into Arin Ariminum. Just for the time being. Now, we do have a lot of money, don't we? Ooh, oh, hello. He's taking the battle. Okay. How many units are we dealing with here? 86. This could be quite a close battle, I'm thinking. This could be a very close battle. Do we allow Luca? Although Luca is one of the Julii as well. He's actually a genuine Julii. And he's only had one son. Oh. Screw it. Let's do it. Down is glory enough for now. The... Say no more, Luca. Where are these guys? Are they all... Wait, hang on. Where are they? Oh, they've taken a... Okay. Okay. You, I want you to go into your wedge formation. Then what I'm going to do is... I'm going to come in from over here. Try and get a hill. Actually, are they on the... They are on the hill. Let's try and go here. And it has just started raining. Is that a bad omen? I do not know. But what I do know is we're going to charge with Luca straight into them and this wedge formation is going to come straight into the side of them. It's thunderstorm. Oh, that's not a good sign. This is what I'm thinking anyway. Hopefully they don't see this coming in on the side. Hopefully. That's gonna, it's going to be tricky. Because it is light cavalry as well. I believe in him. I do believe in Luca. Come on, Luca. You've got this. We ready? Three, two, one. Charge. Come on, Luca. Come on. I know you're going uphill as well. They're fresh. They're fresh. And there we go. Yep. And now you can go into the side of them. Straight into the back. Come on. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. There we go. Now, three, two, one, straight into them. Now, come on, Luca. Where are you? You are over here. You are over here. There we go. Straight into the back of them. Now, they are going to lose a few troops. Luca is not by himself. Thank the gods. How are they doing? They are losing a lot. We have got them surrounded. Luca is 
Where is it? He's there. He's behind one of his comrades. Perfect. Although he is on the front line. We need to kill their general first. He's going to be over here, isn't he? They are losing a lot. 24. They are losing a lot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where is he? Where is he? This is the close. It's close. They've got nine. They're fighting to the death. They've broken. They've broken. Get them. Get them. For God's no. Praise. No. The we need to kill the faction leader. Uh, the faction heir. Why is there... I'm going to... I mean... Is that... What? Hello? Britain has decided to join in the fray. They've managed to travel thousands of miles to come and visit us in Spain and camouflage themselves as the leader of Spain. Or the faction heir of Spain. Very interesting of them. But let's clean up and let's kill him. This is we did get him. We did get him. Seen that bug before? Trait increase? Okay, Luke is getting his trait increases for being a good commander. Confident commander? It's about time. You're only 55 years of age. Retinue. Decorated hero. Okay, let's have a look at um, his, his weak end. Okay, nice. Teetotal. Okay, boring little tit. <laughs> this man's speeches are so boring that his audiences would probably prefer death to more hours of torture. Wow. I'm going to try and get him to do yet another speech. It's barbarian turncoat, yes. I think he can go and sort out these rebels up here. No more I think he's the perfect person to go and sort those rebels out. Now we've got Tertius over on the south coast, going for a little bit of a, a leisurely walk along the Spanish beaches. We've got our assassin, now we can kill our spy, we obviously don't want to do that, but... I'm looking at this now and thinking... Is there anything in here we could destroy which would help us? And it looks as though... Large Temple of Bai, of Baal, Bull Warriors, Naked Fanatics... Could probably get rid of that. Success. Perfect. There we go. Cause a bit of disorder before we go and actually attack them. They have got a lot of reinforcements by the look of it as well. It's a lot of dogs. They've got bull warriors. Mm. Okay. Stone walls as well. It's fortunate that our spy has done their job well. Let's get into it. A battle's never an easy thing to face. Especially before breakfast. But think on this. They feel at least as bad. And don't have me to give them victory. Over there stand the Spanish. They make a fine show in the field. And are worthy I've not heard of that us. intro. It's just... That army comprises a full quarter of our foe's warriors. No. That was a very, very well made speech at the start then, wasn't it? However... As we've discovered, they are fighting before breakfast and no man in the world would want that. Start the battle. What are we dealing with? We've got towers there. Now the only issue is the gates are open. And they have one hell of an army on these walls. Scutari, Iberian, Naked Fanatics, Naked Fanatics. Now, Bull Warriors, all of these can get off Peeler. Well, most of these anyway. So... We need to try and get... I'm thinking the Bull Warriors could be very beneficial for us to actually kill from below. So what we're going to try and do is get these... Oh, we don't need to get too close though because of the towers. The towers are still going to get us, aren't they? Oh, this might have turned out to be quite a bad move on our half. We should have probably... Let's go for the Bull Warriors over here. Uh, so we managed to kill off most of the Bull Warriors. Um... Yeah, well, actually, we killed off all of them. <laughs> um, we could probably go with the Skutari or the Iberian Infantry next, but Naked Fanatics, Skutari... Um, we don't want to go for the Naked Fanatics. Let's go for these Skutari over here. Got two units of cavalry. We've got these units here. We could probably get... Yeah, I'm just trying to think of the best way to do this. Well, I've just noticed there is a, an additional unit of bull warriors over here, so I'm going to try and get our troops inside as fast as possible. And then, on top of that, get them up on the walls, scaled up on the walls. 
and then we should be able to take them out one by one and then get our archers up there before the bull warriors get involved in the fray because I think that will become the issue for us. Oh, they're getting the peeler off. They are indeed getting the peeler off, which I thought they would. And we are stuck in the gateway because of the dogs. This isn't good. We need to get some of our units away from here. Are you guys at the front? You're not at the front. Okay, move back. Let's get the Skutari off of you. Yeah, come on. Try and force you guys through there. I know it's a lot of dogs. It is a lot of dogs. Come on, force your way through, guys. You've nearly got it. There's a lot of casualties there, isn't there? Oh, Lord. I'm sorry that we had to use you as the cannon fodder. I really am, but it's okay. They are in. They're in. Now. You guys need to go and fight these. Okay, we've got most of our early legionary cohorts coming in through the gatehouse now. And we've got a lot of them going up to sort out these naked fanatics. Hopefully, we can capture the gatehouse. Because they are causing a lot of casualties for our troops feeding in through the gatehouse. What I'm thinking is, we can get those guys on the naked fanatics. And then we can get these guys on the Skitari. And hopefully, we can kind of surround them and force them off. Oh, we've got guys falling off left, right and centre. Oh, God. Oh, there they go. There's another one. Spanish one next, please. Spanish one next. I don't think our guys are doing well. Actually, hang on. Wait, was that ours? The fighting to the death. That's annoying. Okay, but you guys are running outside? No, you're not. Can you guys fight them? Fight them, please. They've broken. They've broken. Okay, they've broken as well. Okay, perfect. Now, what I want you guys to do is get up on there. You guys sort them out. You guys sort them out. I want you guys. They bull warriors know that Iberian infantry. Get them. Come on. Get up there. Get up there like your life depends on it. Please. Right. I think we are actually beating these guys. I think we are actually beating them. Naked fanatics. Yep, they've broken. Perfect. You're naked fanatic as, as well. Skitari should be preoccupied with you guys. The bull warriors are coming around. The bull warriors are coming around. That is the issue that I had right at the start. We need to get everyone up on those walls as fast as possible. We need to finish these guys off. We need to finish them off as fast as possible. Our soldiers have captured the walls. We've captured the walls. The Thank the gods. This place. Thank the gods. Right, we're slowly but surely getting our troops up there. And while we're doing that... What I'm thinking is the rest of us can go and sort out what's on the rally point because it's dogs and a lot more. Okay, I only saw what these were here. Now, this is a lot more than what I thought. This is a lot of dogs. This is one hell of a lot of dogs. Oh, there's the temple we destroyed. Uh, I mean, we didn't destroy. I, I don't know what... I, I think that was like that when we got here. We've got dogs here, dogs here, the general unit there. More dogs there. We're going to have to focus on these guys first, I think. Or do we have to, actually, thinking about it now? We don't necessarily have to, do we? Let's just focus everyone down here. Let's just bring everyone down here. We've also got guys all the way down here. On these walls, I'm assuming? No, they've got more dogs there. Oh, my God. There's so many dogs. Right, we've got our guys in here. They're shaking. They are shaking. If we can just start picking these off one by one, our General Turtle should hopefully be able to just destroy them. Wavering. We need to help our guys up on the walls because they are struggling right now. Come on, Wavering. You guys have got to break sometime soon. Oh, no, Turtle is right at the front. Turtle is right at the front. Oh, they've broken. Thank the Lord. Thank the gods. Okay, that's one down. We've got dogs. We have dogs that we need to deal with as well. I want you guys to run past... You guys can all deal with the dogs, as far as I'm concerned. Deal with these pesky dogs. We need to kill the general. No, don't get dragged in. Don't get dragged in. We've been dragged in. The, the, the horses are going to die. No, that's it. You can just run in there if you really want to. 
Oh, there's more dogs. Do you know what? Screw it. You've wanted, you've decided to go and pick that fight. Not really sure why, but sure. Kill the Warhounds. The Lung Shield Cavalry has just charged in. This is very bad. Where's Tertius? No, we need to we need to retreat. We need to retreat. Tertius, get out of there. Get out of there as fast as you can. We've got a lot of guys in here. I'm using the archers as well. We need to drag if we can. Let's get this cavalry over here. These are gonna die immediately. They're gonna die immediately. Get them. I'm using the archers as well because they've got very good melee ability. Now you guys are running you guys are running perfect. Are we dragging this guy over here? We are. But the dogs are, of course, on us. We need to destroy. Where where is the where's the commander? He's there. Perfect. That is what we wanted. And you guys need to run. Run as fast as you can. Destroyed all of these. Yep, yeah, destroy them. Destroy them. Destroy them. You can destroy them. Destroy them. You can destroy them. Perfect. You need to run. The dogs are coming after you, I think. So. Yep, yeah, there's a lot of dogs there. There's a lot of dogs there. You just keep running, Tertius. Keep running as fast as you can. How is it going on over here, guys? We've got a legionary down here. The bull warriors have broken. They've all broken. It's just a matter of time now. It's just a matter of time. Perfect. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to bring these cohorts down over here. We're going to get them up on the wall. And then we're going to get them there and come right behind the bull warriors and hopefully hurry up this... Oh, they've broken. They have broken. This doesn't look good. This does not look good for us at all. Are the dogs still chasing us? No. No, they're not. Perfect. Let's finish these guys off and then we'll come in and help the bowmen. Steady. Steady. Shaken. Come on. Come on. Shaken, please. Please, wavering. Three, two, one. Perfect. Finish them off. Finish them off. Chase them down. Let's go and help our friendly... Let's go Let's go and help our colleagues over here because these are really struggling, aren't they? I mean, there's a lot of guys here, but they aren't really up to the task of defeating Skitari. This isn't really their job, is it? Oh, we've just lost one hell of an army there. What just happened there? Oh, we've all just broken. We've all just broken. Oh, that's because there's just so many guys there. Okay. You guys need to get up there as fast as possible. Please, as fast as possible. Right. Back to the rally point. And even more warhounds have been brought to the fray. They've been taken down from the wall over there. And they are now part of this battle. Oh, this is just... It's just never ending, is it? It's just never ending. They're coming in. We need to get them. We need to get them. Come on. The dogs are coming in as well. The dogs are coming in. This is, this is such a shoddy battle. The dogs have been released. The dogs have been released. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Onto the rally point, please. Straight into the back of them. Please, straight into the back of them. There we go. Straight into them. You guys, you guys are not actually doing anything. I need you to fight these. There we go. Straight into them. Come on. Now, our guys are up on this wall. There we go. You guys can go and attack them. When you are ready. Now you guys are slowly but surely dwindling the Spanish army down, which is perfect. You guys are helping. Tertius. This is a very close battle. Very close battle. What's going on over here? Well, you guys are there. What are you guys doing? Kill these. Why are you just stood there? Are you guys actually fighting them? You are fighting them. Okay, perfect. You guys fight them. Now what is going on with you guys? Why were you guys not fighting them? That is why it took so long. Okay, now where's Tertius? Tertius is doing us all the best favours in the world. He's finishing off all... He's even started to pick on these guys as well. Come on, leave them leave them to the rest of them. Come on, all of you guys on these. And once you've done them, go for these, then these, and then these. There's also Skitari somewhere, but I'm pretty sure... Is that them? Yeah, that's them. There's six units left. There's six units left. Okay. You guys can probably finish them off by yourself, right? I hope you can anyway. Tertius, I believe in you. I really do trust in you to get the job done. What's going on over here? Are you guys 
moving yet? You guys are not moving yet. Can you please go and get them? What are you getting shot by? The towers. The towers, please. Can you run? Don't just stand there. Oh, this battle has just been absolutely shoddy from start, hasn't it? It's been terrible. I think we should have probably not had our spy get them up to open the gates, but instead to just let us siege the walls. I think that would have been one hell of a better battle. We have captured the tower. Perfect. Now you guys are going for them. I want all of you on them. And that's all that's left. That is all that's left. That is all that is left. And then we would have won. Wow. I must say that was a very shoddy battle. So, we've got the rally point and all it comes down to now is 14 units. The last of the Spanish in Cordoba. We've got experience points. Oh, oh, he's just deciding to jump. Is he? No. It's okay. Three. Oh, he's jumping. There we go. He's jumped. He couldn't bear it. That was very close, people. Very, very close. I mean, was it a clear victory? We could have actually lost that. Very much lost that, definitely. But we will... Yeah, we're going to have to take that and we're going to have to refresh our armies. But it looks as though Tertius is on the path to destroy all of Spain by himself. There we go. What is this? Traits increase? No, it's retinue. Cordoba is very unhappy, so we're going to exterminate the population. And then what we are going to do, we're going to destroy these and immediately Jupiter. Put the tax rate down. Now. Now then. What can we recruit? We can recruit some legionary cohorts. Again, I don't think it's necessary for the Spanish. Early legionary cohorts seem to do the job just fine. And also, do we need much more? I think once we've retrained all of these, it's not really necessary to get any more because of what we've got left. I mean, there's some units there. There's going to be a, a very pitiful amount of units up here. But other than that, the Gauls will pose a small threat. But I think, I think we should be fine. Let's get some more spearmen as part of our arsenal. But other than that, yeah. I think we're good to go, people. We'll get them retrained. Perfect. Now, what was the retinue he got? Decorated hero. Tertius Victor. Still the victor. Nothing else, though, however. Yes. Got a spy over here. And we can see Scalabus. There's more dogs. What do the Spanish want with dogs all the time? It's so frustrating. But I think that's a very good place for us to leave it, everyone. We've captured yet another Spanish settlement. Only two left on the Spanish peninsula with Gaul resting right in the middle of it. But thank you all for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.